In this video, I'll show you how to create a rescue session from Salesforce and then map all the data back into Salesforce. More information about the Logman Rescue integration with Salesforce, including instructions, can be found at the Logman Rescue website by clicking on the integration link. You can find details about all of our integrations, including Salesforce, by clicking on the corresponding link. In order to generate a session, you must first be in a case. Once inside the case, scroll down to the case detail area. From here, the administrators of your Salesforce instance will have entered in one of two rescue pin code buttons. You have two options, a default pin code pull button that just simply creates a pin code. The second option actually pulls data from Salesforce cases into the Logman Rescue session. This is customizable based on your needs. Once the PIN code has been generated, the technician will have the option to email the code or to verbally give the PIN code to the customer. In this instance, I'm going to initiate the session on the same computer that I'm actually creating it from. This way I can illustrate both the customer side as well as the technician side of the interaction. At this point, the customer is going to go to a PIN code entry portal. This can be one supplied by LogMeIn or one that you host on your own portal. The customer will enter the PIN code in, click Start Download, and they will be prompted for an EXE download. They can save this download and then execute it. Once executed, the customer applet will appear. Now they have a connection to the technician. Notice that it pulled the customer's name from the Salesforce instance. You can work the case as normal, chatting, using various features within Rescue, and the chat log and all of the fields will be uploaded back into Salesforce. Note that in the top left, the post should succeed. If it doesn't, troubleshooting may need to happen. Once the post has been made back in Salesforce, you can refresh the case and the new data should be present. This is shown in two areas. Number one, activity history, where all of the rescue specific fields will be logged. Back inside the case as an attachment, the chat log gets added. You can view this text file by selecting it. This will encapsulate the entire chat log. There are also optional settings to change how this performs, such as writing a chat to a field and so on. As discussed earlier, more information can be found on the Rescue Integration Portal by selecting the Salesforce.com logo.